This is a time for praying, isn't it? It's a time to remember the prayers we forget, or maybe we don't forget them, but we may might not pay too much attention to them. Let me give you an example. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. That's the sign of the cross. We pray that prayer as we bless ourselves, we trace with our hand the figure of the cross on our forehead, our minds, our breasts, our hearts, and our shoulders, our strength. The sign of the cross is a sign that God blesses us. God embraces us with blessings, blessings in this life and blessings that we don't see yet. The sign of the cross is the sign of the cross of Jesus. His death on the cross, we believe, is a sign of God's immense love for us. So as we make this sign, we renew our trust in God's love and our reliance on God's blessings. I will bless the Lord at all times, the psalmist says. So these are times to bless the Lord, to pray a simple prayer like this, so filled with meaning. A passionist priest who taught me many years ago, Father Victor Donovan, had a great devotion to the Jewish people, and he admired the way that they put a sign of their covenant with God on the doors of their houses to remember the blessings of God. And going in and coming out, they would touch that sign and renew their faith in God. Their homes were blessed and protected by God. We should do that too, Father Victor would often say. We should have a cross in our homes where we can see it and on our door to remind us that our homes are protected by God's blessing and we carry that blessing wherever we go. We should also make the sign of the cross, he said, at the beginning of our day and the end of our day. It's a small prayer, easy to forget, easy to take for granted, but also easy to do. These are times to remember it, times to bless the Lord. God is with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.